One is not born wise. One becomes it. Nothing goes right on the outside, when nothing is going right on the inside. Demanding immediate results, is an aspect of unsteadiness of mind, or laziness. Worries are pointless. If there's a solution, there's no need to worry. If no solution exists, there's no point to worry. Being altruistic not only helps us to benefit others, but it is also the most satisfying way to live. To love oneself, is to love life. As long as a sense of self-importance rules your being, you will never know lasting peace. Happiness is the result of inner maturity. It depends on us alone, and requires patient work, carried out from day to day. Whatever your present situation is, evolution and transformation are always possible. We make ourselves happy, in making others happy. Anyone can be happy, by simply training their brain. Whatever you train, you change your brain. We deal with our mind from morning till evening, and it can be our best friend, or our worst enemy. Authentic happiness, is not linked to an activity, it is a state of being. Envy and jealousy, stem from the fundamental inability to rejoice at someone else's happiness or success. Happiness, is a state of inner fulfillment, not the gratification of inexhaustible desires, for outward things. When we transform our way of perceiving things, we transform the quality of our lives. While it may be difficult to change the world, it is always possible to change the way we look at it. It's not the magnitude of the task that matters, it's the magnitude of our courage. Confidence, is closely linked to how well our perceptions match reality. The ultimate reason for meditating, is to transform ourselves, in order to be better able to transform the world. True freedom, means freeing oneself from the dictates of the ego, and its accompanying emotions. Wisdom and compassion, should become the dominating influences that guide our thoughts, our words, and our actions. When hearing a door creak, the optimist thinks it's opening, and the pessimist thinks it's closing. Negative emotions, like hatred, destroy our peace of mind. Isn't it the mind, that translates the outer condition, into happiness and suffering? Even if resentment is triggered by an external object, it is not located anywhere else, but in our mind. If you want to know your past, look at your present circumstances. If you want to know your future, look at what is in your mind. Happiness is a skill. Emotional balance is a skill. 
Compassion and altruism are skills. And like any skill, they need to be developed. That's what education is about. Genuine fearlessness arises with the confidence that we will be able to gather the inner resources to deal with any situation that comes our way. Meditation is not just blissing out under a mango tree. It completely changes your brain and therefore changes what you are. Few of us would regret the years it takes to complete an education or master a crucial skill. So why complain about the perseverance needed to become a well-balanced and truly compassionate human being? Children, elderly people, vagabonds laugh easily and heartily. They have nothing to lose and hope for little. In renunciation lies a delicious taste of simplicity and deep peace. Enlightenment is eliminating mental confusion, eliminating hatred, jealousy, mental toxins, cravings. To grant forgiveness to someone who has truly changed is not a way of condoning or forgetting his or her past crimes, but of acknowledging whom he or she has become. What everyone should be doing before it's too late is committing themselves to what they really want to do with their lives. Another form of laziness is thinking. That's not for me. It's beyond my abilities. I'd rather not get involved with it. In other words, you give up the race before you reach the starting line. Thank you for watching and for supporting us.